Did you know that snow isn't actually white? The word snow typically brings to mind images of snow-covered landscapes, frosty mornings, and winter holidays. The beauty of winter is often overshadowed by the cold, but when it snows, everything changes. The world becomes softer and quieter. It's as if an invisible barrier has been created between you and the rest of your surroundings. You can't help but feel peaceful and calm as you take in all that surrounds you. However, when you turn on a tap or open the freezer, you will see that liquid water and ice are generally transparent. So, what makes the snow white? The physical qualities of snow and ice help us comprehend the color of snow. Snow is composed of tiny ice crystals that have bonded together. A single ice crystal on its own is transparent. But snow is not. When snow falls, hundreds of tiny ice crystals combine to make the snowflakes we know and love. Light is everywhere, and every object reflects it differently. Because of the reflected light, we view snow differently. The light reflects off the surface of the ice crystals, which have various facets or faces. Because white light is made up of all colors in the visible spectrum, our eyes detect white snowflakes, as some of the light that hits snow is dispersed back out evenly into all spectral hues. Snowflakes are always six-sided. Snowflakes are formed of water molecules that can only fit together to form a six-sided ice crystal. Each snowflake takes a slightly distinct path from the sky to the earth, resulting in slightly varied atmospheric conditions during its descent. As a result, each flake has a distinct appearance, resembling everything from prisms to needles. According to the Met Office in the United Kingdom, most snowflakes fall at speeds, ranging from 1 to 4 miles per hour, depending on their size and mass, as well as the surrounding climatic circumstances. The largest, heaviest snowflakes may reach speeds of up to 9 miles per hour, while the average flake descends at around 1.5 miles per hour and takes roughly an hour to reach the Earth. Did you also know that it doesn't have to be freezing to snow? It is important to note that the air temperature must be below freezing for snow to fall. When the air is above freezing, water vapor in the air will change into a liquid. However, if rain falls persistently through the air, as hot as 6 degrees Celsius, the air temperature may drop low enough for the rain to change to snow. This is because the rain that falls for an extended period progressively cools the air around it. So, did you discover anything new today? Can you think of any other interesting fact we should include? Leave them in the comments section below. We enjoy hearing from you.